Health care is a big topic in this evening's political panel. KX News' Adrian Oglesby talked to the current talked about the current administration's recent announcement, COVID vaccinations, and more. According to the CDC, COVID-19 vaccines help our bodies develop immunity to the virus that causes COVID-19 without us having to get the illness. And in some areas, COVID vaccines are required for employees working for large businesses. So should the government be able to mandate said vaccines? This question for our major political parties starts a fire. <laughs> Certainly people disagree with me and, and I respect that. That's fine. but. It's it's such a farce, this whole thing. And, and you know, what, what baffles me a little bit is, you know, the Democrats used to be the party that complained about the big corporations. And I think we've been had by the big pharmaceutical companies. And it is a revolving door between the pharmaceuticals and the FDA and the CDC. I wish I had a product that I could get the government to force people or convince people to take that's invisible and, and create as much fear as they have. As for our state's Democratic Party, they believe corporations should have the freedom to decide whether they require vaccines for their workers or if they don't. We have found that many health care organizations like hospitals and long-term care organizations have found that it's important to ensure that their employees are safe themselves and also not spreading uh, the virus to uh, the patients that they might be treating. But what about for children? Do they think the government should require that children be vaccinated for COVID-19? Absolutely not. And, uh, you know, I think people need to know as well that in 1986, um, our government uh, I can't remember what it was called now, but there's an act of Congress that removed liability for pharmaceuticals. So vaccines are the only drug, so to speak, that you can't sue the manufacturer for. Senator Josh Boucher responded, stating that here in North Dakota, there is no mandate for COVID or any other vaccines. What do we actually have the most, uh, as it's been said by the medical profession, liberal uh, policy because families are able to opt out uh, for a variety of reasons, more than, than the reasons in many other states. Um, so I think it should be a family decision, I think in consultation with their health care provider on whether children are vaccinated. Now let's shift a bit. I asked the panel how they propose to address the rising health care costs, including the cost of prescription medication. We we did have a bill that actually did control the price of insulin for state workers at least. And so these uh, pharmaceutical companies are out of line in my view on, on many of their costs because they, as was said earlier, they have no liability when someone gets sick from their product but yet they are charging a huge amount of money for, I mean, it's crazy what they're charging for some of these pills that people are taking or some of the shots. State Senator Carla Rose Hansen says the cost of health care is a major issue for North Dakota families. I think uh, some of the the solutions, it's obviously a multi-pronged issue. Uh, some of the issues that could help with that is at the federal level. Uh, President Biden has recently uh, put forward the idea of negotiating on the highest cost drugs that uh, Medicare pays for. Uh, our older Americans uh, take a lot of drugs and being able to negotiate with the pharmaceutical companies on the cost of those drugs for these public health care plans will be a huge cost saver. With more than 60 million people living in rural America, just today the Biden administration announced its plan of taking action to improve the health of rural communities and help rural health care providers stay open. A piece of that puzzle includes building on the Affordable Care Act and Inflation Reduction Act to increase access to affordable health care coverage and care for those living in rural communities. For KX News, I'm Adrian Oglesby. Laying out President Biden's proposed plan further, it hopes to keep more rural hospitals open in the long run to provide critical services that are needed in several communities. And you can read the full initiatives of that plan on our website, kxnet.com.